Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Factorio. From the carcasses lying around here, you can see we had some visitors. A while ago, we expanded here towards the south. We added more production, and with that, we also expanded the pollution zone so now this nest here is in that pollution so I think uh, we will deal with that nest first and then hopefully we can wait for the first train load of uh, of our science packs yellow and purple to be ready so that we then can um, so that we then can uh, do some proper research so that's our line back there That's it. Easy. Well, let's pack things up again. And then I think we will just have to wait out for the... Um, um, for the signs to get to the point where it's delivered to our lab and we can then actually uh, do some more research and i think uh purple we are not that far off and uh, probably um the yellow one uh, let's let's actually have a look Yep, there we need around 800 more and here it's 1400. So it's not too much, but probably still a while until we get there. We have a colored rainbow or almost a rainbow of science packs. And the reason why the empty trains for yellow and purple suns are sitting here is just because the loading station or none of the loading stations that produce those um, science packs have yet reached enough uh, amount stored uh, for the trains to go loading because we want to go trains loading at the station that has the most uh, bottles to load so that we can have optimal research and speaking of research we should actually do some and looking at what's what's remaining it's not that much anymore and Seeing that uh, we already got attacked from a spider nest down here and there is some more 
at the edge of the cloud then here we have a, a big one and up here is this probably still more so I'm thinking with going a bit um, for a laser defense so there we want to to have that going then we want to have the, the biggest uh, suit that we can get um, probably also this one and after that well maybe this would be a good thing and then yeah why not productivity and i think uh, we will rush through all the the research up to uh, to infinity where we then need uh, space research and that should unlock everything that we need uh, in order to um, fill a few more episodes until we get to actually building a rocket. There are a few steps uh, until then uh, that we can and should take. Um, and I think next step is is better better uh, uh, armor uh, and then um, going out with uh, instead of uh, laser turrets and uh, and substations we should have uh, uh, portable laser defense that can get us there our research has progressed nicely so we can queue some more things up that we will need in due time um, and basically it's it's just getting out of the way of uh, everything that we have up to the point where we would start to need the space science so i think that will go on the the side and i have upgraded my armor uh, we have a portal uh, fusion reactor um, it will not generate enough power for all the gears especially if the lasers are shooting uh, one laser requires as a max output of uh, 240 kilowatt and that only produces 750 so th that's about enough for three but then we also have some exoskeletons uh, for faster running we do have a bit of uh, a power store in the in the batteries so i think for a for a quick fight running into a nest and then out again that should be enough and I think that's exactly what we uh, will check out now because there are um, some some biter nests that are uncomfortably close uh, to our pollution cloud so getting those removed um, Probably not the, the, the worst idea. So let's see where we can find our way through here. Nice. And just in case things go wrong, let's have a fallback line here. So far, this works pretty good, keeping an eye on the green wall here on the, uh, on the, on the armor, 
We're down to 88%. So that's not that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. The trick here is that you don't walk in a straight line because the spitters and the worms they aim at you. Um, wherever based on the direction you're moving and if you change direction uh, then basically they shoot at a spot uh, where you're not at nice that should have uh, dealt with the, the nests down here you, you can see there are some more there and there but those are way further back from the from the pollution cloud and down here uh, the uh, main contributor to pollution are the two ore fields and I don't think in the near future we will expand our factory uh, down here we probably will focus more on this middle area where we still have some squares um, left and some squares unfinished. And let's get back to uh, research. Yeah, the, the next batch is done. So let's get the, the modules out of the way. Uh, those will certainly be a project of their own to get that production going and uh, we do have quite a few other things um, that are just improved version of, of what we have already and uh, we probably also want to take advantage of that at some point and not run into uh, uh, towers. Uh, now that uh, the fight is over I can also uh, reactivate my uh, robots. Um, it's usually not the best idea to have them flying around while you're fighting because then they get spit at and uh, they are not as resilient to uh, spider spit than uh, I am, especially with, with this armor. So let's wait and see uh, what, we, what we can get uh, out of the research and then to uh, cap off this episode we will have a bit of an outlook. Uh, on to the next few things I want to tackle. Purple Science uh, is running low here. We had another train delivering uh, yellow signs, uh, but I think uh, the Purple Science train is close to to be finished loading. Yeah, only hundred. 1000 no 100 a few more bottles and uh, it's looking like we need we are once again waiting on stone and why do you think Oh, it's not the stone we are waiting here for, it's... Hmm, it's petroleum. And it looks like we have too many petroleum trains. Because we have one loading station, um, but 
the, the train there is is actually uh, uh, waiting. So let's remove this one. that one because that should then allow this train to leave and we have also too many water trains it's a bit of a, of a balancing act That should allow things to flow better. Stand here. We're missing coal. But everything is coming together. And uh, we can queue up some more research also going into the direction of things that we need for our rocket but as mentioned it's it's just getting things out of the way and i think we only have uh, these five left uh, after we finish um, the, uh, this set of research that we just queued uh, and then we can think about what to do next and that was the last research before the infinity research and it took quite a while because on the way we had to wait for yellow uh, science packs uh, purple science packs because they were not produced as fast as uh, we could do the research and so I think that will definitely be a topic we will look into um, in one of the future episodes. If we look at what we have uncovered here um, uh, let's let's start here. Um, there we have a few more mil military uh, things. I think we are pretty good there. Uh, what we need. Um, so there, I don't see much focus on in the next uh, few episodes, aside from uh, attacking some bitches to make room for expansion. Then looking here we have the blue belts and there I'm thinking maybe having the uh, blue undergrounds uh, to just have an underground that has a larger reach. Um, then down here we have two additional electrum electro locomotives and with the normal locomotive you can increase the speed by different type of fuels and for the electric variants uh, you actually have to have different type of locomotives so we will probably have a look into that um, probably not replacing existing uh, trains but uh, if we need new ones we can use the, the faster ones uh, then the wagons with increased capacity i don't think we really need that maybe we will have a spidertron to to uh get rid of some of the nests we will see uh, don't need the, the logistic chests that we got on top. But here uh, we definitely want to have the uh, assembly machine threes because those can help us speeding up our existing factories without 
building up new ones and in the same direction goes beacons and when we have beacons we of course also need modules I think mainly speed and uh, and production and then of course uh, we have the rocket silo and uh, uh, the, the satellite for the space science that will be a whole other level of, of a project. Then here we have the uh, coal liquefaction, uh, the rocket control units that we need for uh, the rockets and then um, reprocessing of nuclear fuel because if we have a look uh, here I had to actually put everything into a chest because it got backlogged to to here uh, where it could no longer put anything out on the belt which basically prevented the nuclear reactors from producing any energy and we had a slight dip in in power but that's it outlook wise and maybe i'm thinking uh, this will be the last series uh, before the uh, space uh, space exploration space age dlc comes out uh, which is um, 21st of uh, October this year uh, so maybe we will not have an episode every every day uh, just to fill the, the time until uh, that happens and uh, then we will dive right into all these new topics but that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon with the next episode. Goodbye.